Hello, hello, my one of a kind Java developers. It's Real Touch Gmail here, back with my another Java tutorial. And today, you guessed it, we will be creating our game loop. Now, let me go ahead and tell you what a game loop is. Um, now, if I refer to Game Maker here, if you are were familiar at all, you will know the step event. And the step event in Game Maker runs through. Uh, whichever code you put in there, whichever dr drag and drop actions, um, a lot. It like every millisecond is gonna run through that code, and it's just gonna keep going, going, going. Uh, <clears throat> now that is what a game loop is for Java or for pretty much anything here. Let me go ahead and import that. Uh, you should have already done that in our last tutorial. If you have not seen that one, go ahead and click that link in the description, and it'll bring you right there. But if you have you should already have this in there. You should have everything in here. More importantly, you should have everything in here. And when you play it, you should get a screen. It's like so. Uh, so, let's go ahead and create our game loop. So, from now on, you can actually close up this main class. We probably won't be using it for the rest of our progress through this game. Uh, that's, you know, making your window creating this and then everything in here is going to be looped so could because this is where a game loop is going to be so we are actually going to be using a timer for a game loop and this is what's going to time every time it uh I just said time a lot in that sentence it's going to run through it every amount set of time that we set it to so let's go ahead and do that so above our constructor we're going to uh define our object which is timer and then you can name this timer whatever you want. I'm going to say game loop timer. Okay, now we have to import this, but this is very important. You can see there's actually three imports available. And the one we want is the javax.swing. If you don't do that one, you screwed it up and you need to uh, do the javax.swing one. So what we did right here is we went ahead and we made a variable uh, call with we've made a timer variable and we called it game loop timer but that actually doesn't do anything right now because we've just created it it's not doing anything so in our constructor which again is like the create event for game maker we're gonna say game loop timer equals a new timer and now in the parameters we're gonna say 10 and this okay now, we get an error here. I will explain that further on. But what we've done here is we said game loop timer equals a new timer. Okay? If you refer back to the main class here, we said J frame equals a new J frame. If we said game loop timer equals uh, just timer, uh, wait a second. There's no timer that's actually made yet and that does stuff. So we need to create it as a new timer. Now, these parameters in here is 10. That means 10 milliseconds. We Every 10 milliseconds, it'll be running through this timer. And then this refers to this class. Now, uh, why we get an error here is because we actually need to implement something. Up here in public class game extends J panel, we need to implement action listener. Go ahead and import that. There's only one import this time, so. <laughs> uh, wait a second. You're thinking to yourself now, right after you imported it, we get an error in the game now. And that is because we, uh, uh, the action listener actually uh, depends uh, or is required to have at least one method. And if you hover over game, you could say add unimplemented methods it actually auto generates a method for us or a function and you can delete that comment there whenever you have uh, double slash that's just a comment uh, you can put anything you want that's just a comment to yourself uh, to organize stuff and how you made it what it is when you made it you know stuff like that uh, now this is our game loop public void action performed action event arg zero uh, that this is where a variable would be so usually people put e but you don't need to do that because we're not going to be using the e variable in this action event uh, now you can see our error is gone 
and this is because our timer since we imported the javx.swing automatically knows to run through this code every 10 milliseconds if we wanted it 5 milliseconds then it would run through it every 5 milliseconds uh, <laughs> so that right there can be um, you know whatever number you'd like so imagine you don't actually don't even need to use this for a game loop uh, granted you do need a game loop so we are going to be using this but we can also make more timers in the future dealing with um, I don't know something pauses for a second then you put that timer on there or if there's a certain number of seconds before you can move in a game or you know certain uh, number of time that if you're in lava you'll die stuff like that so if we go ahead and test it out by doing system dot out dot print line now uh, we say running game loop and let me just point this out real quick system dot out dot print line prints a line to the console this is very useful for debugging your games just putting it out there a lot of people will do this to debug their games to make sure something is working properly if we test this out though you will notice that uh, there's no text and you're thinking to yourself we made the timer we made the uh, function to use it why isn't it working and that is because a very obvious reason you need to start the game timer game timer dot start or game loop timer dot start and that as it said starts the game loop so if we play it now whoa here we go now it's running through this every 10 milliseconds as you can see so we should take that out so now anything you want to happen such as a step event in game maker you would put in here now th the one thing we are going to put in here no matter what is repaint and repaint calls the public void paint class repaint is an inbuilt inbuilt method uh, public void paint it uh, repaint calls that class and it's going to repaint uh, you know what's ever on here every you guessed it 10 milliseconds so that's the tutorial for today go ahead and leave a like go and subscribe I feel like I just preached that whole time <laughs> but uh go ahead and leave a like go and subscribe uh, tomorrow we might actually get into creating our player so that's gonna be pretty awesome so go ahead and leave a like go and subscribe I will see you sexy legends next time